In the previous tutorial, I used this stairs setup to help demonstrate various ways of duplicating objects. One of the ways was via the array modifier. But one of the things that the array modifier does is it just duplicates the geometry and you end up having this obvious repeating pattern of textures and it would be nice to be able to randomize it. So what I did was I used the UV offset function in the array modifier to help randomize it. But somebody has sent me a message and told me that there was another interesting way of doing this that I didn't know about and I want to show you what that is. If we take a look at this geometry, there is the primary object down at the bottom. Let's come over to the UV editor. I'm in polygon edit mode and we can see the UV unwrap that I've generated for this object. And what this method does is it takes and it just randomizes the position of each of the generated copies of the stair. I'm going to press tab to leave edit mode on that. If we come back over to shading, what we do is we come over to the material setup for this and we add a new node. So what it will do is randomize the position of each of the UV islands for the duplicates generated by the array modifier. Come up to add and then input and it says geometry. You could also search for that, but I just wanted you to see where it is. And one of the entries is called random per island and we plug it into location. And now it will randomize the location values for us. One of the methods that I showed was to duplicate each of the stairs manually and then create five or six individual duplicates of the material where we manually randomize that location value. It turns out, and I didn't know this, this node will do that for us. But it doesn't show up in the interactive display. What you have to do is go into the viewport ray trace rendering. So let's make sure that's visible. I want to come over to the world properties and set the background color just up to a bright white so that when we turn on ray tracing, you can see the randomization as it's happening for each of the stairs. That is just so awesome because now I don't have to generate five different materials. It just does that automatically for it. So again, this works for generated copies when you're using an array modifier. Now, the thing that we could also do is let's take a look at this in the top view. Let's say that maybe it, we'd still like a little bit more randomization. You could still come back to the array modifier under the UV tab and you could still offset these just a little bit to give it even more randomization if you felt it wasn't producing as much as you'd like. So that's what I wanted to show you how cool this geometry node is with the random per island option.